What's good guys, it is Tuesday the 25th of April and I want to welcome you to today's episode of the Daily Market Analysis. Uh, today we'll be looking at the two different uh, majors, we'll be looking at Pound, USD and Euro Dollar. <clears throat> so to start things off, let's have a look at the Pound, Dollar. Uh, on the weekly market preview on uh, Sunday, we identified that there was a potential bullish opportunity right here. We have a bullish flag right here, you can see that we have the pole and price has just been reacting within this range also known as a flag however as price uh continued i think uh the market opened here at this candle at this candle right here this green candle right here uh price respected this range made a pull down respected it again made the pull down and <clears throat> now it seems to be on its way to respecting it again however the flag that we identified which was this uh resistance and this support right here also known as the upper range of the flag and the lower range of the flag uh, seems to not have been uh, attractive anymore to price as you can see price entered the range right here resistance found support resistance found support here resistance however did not find support found resistance at the same flag did not find resistance uh, support here instead found it here so it is safe to say that we although we have a flag right here guys uh, let me just draw it out okay we have the upper resistance of the flag and we had the bottom uh, bottom of the flag right here however price has not been reacting with the bottom area of the flag anymore however as you can see if we draw a straight line right here you can see that price has reacted with this horizontal horizontal um, support right here we have uh, rejection here we have rejection here right beside it and here three three candles and uh, more to the right so uh, instead of focusing this trade opportunity on the bottom uh, support area of the flag, we can potentially look for this area for a bounce up. However, <clears throat> this would, will not give you a better risk to reward ratio than if we had traded the flag because if we had traded the flag here, uh, we would have about 78 pips to aim for. However, if we are here, we can only aim for about 42 pips unless you want to trade, uh, have your targets at the top of the spike which is um let me just delete this up for you which is this area right here unless we aim for this uh highs right here we can set our targets all the way up for about 120 pips but of course it would have been better if prices had respected this uh this area of spot because instead we could have a, a target of 170 pips possibly more than that so this is the opportunity that i'll be looking for um <coughs> I just want to wait for price to react with this level again before I have a buy opportunity uh, because uh, I want to enter the best price possible so right now currently we are about 30 pips away from uh, the support area that we identified so this could potentially be a decent area for entry and uh, hopefully it breaks out hopefully it does what we is, what a flag is supposed to do it breaks out of this flag giving us uh, better better areas for target because if not we will only have to aim at the channel area this resistance area which would not give us much profits uh, i think it's about it's about 45 pips it's, it's it's a good amount of pips but of course if it breaks out we can aim for targets way up here at the structure highs so this is the uh, pound dollar on the 60 minute chart something for us to look out for here at elementary effects i'm keeping a very close eye on this um on this um, trade right here so this is the pound dollar the next thing we want to look at will be the euro usd <clears throat> and this is the euro usd on the daily chart and as i mentioned previously price has been in a range has entered a range found support found resistance found support found resistance found support so naturally it's likely to find resistance out here again so let me just clear the chart for you so i can just start the analysis again we have our range right here Mm, does it fit does it fit all right it's okay i guess and we have our support area right here maybe slightly higher to touch all the zones all right so we have this zone right here uh and as you can as like we mentioned yesterday uh in our rsi video um the market closed on friday around here at this candle right here yep this candle right here before it gapped up with this move right here 
price opened up on Monday morning with uh with price being here at this uh this area right here. Uh and you can see why it opened up there because if we were to draw a line, we have a very nice level of resistance. If I were to scroll out on the daily chart, let's see if we have any more resistance right there. We have very nice support right here. Price has rejected this area many times before, a lot of consolidation in this area. So you can see why price gapped up and opened up at this point because there was a very significant amount of resistance and support in that area. So uh, one opportunity that we can look out for, this is uh, the EURUSD on the 4 hour chart. Uh, we can look for a potential, there are two ways to trade this. There are two ways that I see fit that we can trade this. I will point them both out to you but I will also let you know which one I will be looking at. Um, now that price is at resistance, we can the first opportunity that you can take would be just shorting it at the next market, possibly waiting for a doji candle, uh, some indecision right here before you go short. However, the more the more um the other opportunity that I plan to take will be this. I will be planning to trade the channel, this channel right here. Let me just uh go back to daily chart. I will be looking to trade this channel. That means uh, I will be looking for price to beat this uh, this resistance right here, this area of resistance, before I go short because uh, I'm looking for price to beat this highs. However, I'm looking for a divergence in RSI on the lower time frame. So this is, let's say price does this, price goes up, touches our channel. This is where I'll be looking to get short and also let's have a look at our Fibonacci whether we have any Fibonacci levels if we use this swing high to swing low and have a Fibonacci retracement of that swing high to swing low you can see that we will have a 618 at that level lines up very nicely with our structure of the channel that we are in let me just remove the 382 so it's easy to see so we have a 618 level a 618 retracement level and also we have the structure in the form of um we also have structure in the form of our channel so if price can push up into this area let me just draw a line uh, let me just zoom in for you if price can push up into this area uh you can see that it lines up very nicely the 618 and the channel if price can come into this area and possibly rsi showing um, higher highs but RSI showing lower highs which means that there is divergence like I went through yesterday in our trading the RSI video let me just go down to the hourly chart to show you an example of what that means that means we have this high right here and if price can beat this high let's say for example let's say price ends up here okay so the candle is here and we have a higher high however if RSI does this we potentially have a lower high which means that there is some weakness in this uptrend and we can look to get short in this area right here this would actually give us a very good uh, risk to reward ratio let me just show it to you if we go down to the 4 hour chart uh, and if we set our sell limit here we can we can just set stops uh, maybe a few pips above this uh, above this channel right here if we set sell here and we can just set our sell we can set our stops above this channel that we're in and we can aim for targets possibly the 618 retracement <clears throat> let me just uh, get out the retracement tool we can set targets all the way here at the 618 level and you can see that we have a uh, decent structure here too as you can see if i draw a line here can see that price has rejected it here another time here a lot of uh, bounces of this area so this could potentially be a decent area of structure if you want to be more conservative you could possibly use a, a 382 382 um 382 retracement let me just uh, show it to you you can have potential targets here or here which would still give a very good risk to reward ratio almost one to four so this could be a decent opportunity uh so this is how i would be looking at the euro usd and the pound dollar um a bit of uh it's the pound dollar is a bit uh difficult to trade right now because uh it's it 
it's in a channel but it isn't really reacting with the bottom of the channel the euro usd if it does what we expect it to do then that would be a more straightforward trade it's just bit a basic uh, trading the channel type of uh, opportunity all right so this has been the daily market analysis today i want to thank you guys for joining me and i'll see you on wednesday for the next episode see you around guys